Hello there, Tim here to review Kick-Ass 2, or give you my initial impressions at least. Uh, this film is a movie I was really looking forward to seeing. It stars one of my favorite up-and-coming actresses, Chloe Grace uh, Moretz. Moretz, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name exactly, but um, she's been a phenomenal actress. Uh, really got me into to what she was working on after Let Me In and Hugo and some of her other films that she's been doing. But, um, and she'll be uh, starring as Carrie in the upcoming Carrie, and uh, she's a phenomenal actress. So I was curious to see what happened as far as how good she was in this film versus Kick-Ass 1. It's been many years, so it was really cool to see. You have like a 9 or 10-year-old Chloe Grace Moretz in the first Kick-Ass a little, little kid in that first movie that doesn't have a huge, huge role. She's definitely in there in a major character in the first movie. But in the second film, she's 15, 16 year, years old and much more a main character, much more that main role. Um, and that's in the other big actor in this movie that um, the, the, the male lead, you don't see him really get that much older visually, at least he's definitely that much older in years, but the, 10 to 15 or whatever age range uh, gap it is for Chloe, Chloe Grace Moretz is, is very noticeable and part of the story even, I'd say. So, uh, Kick-Ass 2 is a phenomenal film. I've seen critics not like it as much as the original, which I'm not really sure why. This film doesn't it doesn't have that origin story problem that the first one had. The first one, although great, spent a lot of time trying to explain things, trying to get things rolling, trying to get this story propelled. Versus the second one, you've got all these characters already developed. You have these phenomenal storylines that are taking place in this movie. You have great comedy, great character chemistry that is not there in the first one because you're still trying to get those relationships built up. So this movie has... Great action, great comedy, great character development, great scenes throughout it that that are built on phenomenal character relationships. And it's a movie that is what I wanted the original Kick-Ass to be. This is a movie that I was so excited to see. And they didn't leave anything off the screen. They put everything on there. It was what I wanted to see. It was what I was expecting to see. And it succeeded on all accounts. It was a perfect sequel. This is how sequels should be done. This is better than the original and much better. This this took what they originally had and drew upon that. And, and it, it was just perfect in my eyes as far as how you do a sequel. This is doing a sequel right. It really is. This is how all sequels should be done. This is worthy of them actually making a sequel. This is worthy of it being made. This is a great, great uh, movie that I will buy uh, once it comes out on iTunes immediately. This is a movie I'd really recommend you go see. Uh, really helps to see the first one, but you really don't need to see it to enjoy this. So, Kick-Ass 2 in theaters now. Phenomenal, phenomenal uh, film. And uh, I would really recommend you go and watch it.